Hello, and welcome to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. I have chosen to play this game as I have grown tired of my old staple online game, World of Warcraft. The content has just been really poor of late, and there's been a bit of content drought, and I'm sick of the uh, bad press that's forever following them around, sexual harassments, Hong Kong protests, all that other stuff, don't really need to get into it yet. So, I've decided I'm going to start a Realm Reborn from the very beginning and continue all the way through to Endwalker. Now, I haven't played for a few years, so there's likely going to be quite a few mistakes while I learn and relearn the processes. So if you pick up a few tips along the way, that's fantastic. But chances are there's also going to be a lot of mistakes in there which you'll not want to be following. So you have been forewarned. Without further ado, let's create a character. Just connect to the data centers, and uh, at the end of the character creation, there may be a bit of a dilemma as to where uh, what sort of we can choose, as they're very overloaded these uh, past few weeks. Uh, there's a lot of other background information about that, but I'll try not to go into it. Now, as you can see, I've got two characters here already. We've got my main character, Carl Tia. He is uh, approximately level 60. Stop playing him at the end of Heaven's Ward, and we also have. Uh, another character that I made for to play with my friend who just stopped playing the previous week and he was starting from level zero. All my classes on my main character, Carl Tia, were at a minimum of level 40. So it was easier for me to level with my friend by creating a brand new character. And that's why you see it as it is here. Now, for choice of character, we'll go up here, new character, no we don't want to load appearance data, basically you can save um, customizations that you've made on other characters and load them to a fresh character to save you going through the uh, customization process all over again. But we're not going to do that, we're going to create completely from scratch. So, we have here, which is your basic human, I've already got one of those so I don't think I'm going to go with those guys. We have Elizen, your uh, standard elf sort of class. I'm thinking that might be an option for me as I don't have one, although I've never really been much of an elf person. Then we have Lalafell, basic uh, small people, kind of like gnomes, but not really apart from the height. Mikote, we already have one, that was my main character, Carl Tia, that you saw on the char character selection screen just then. We have the Rogadin. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. They were uh, your default uh, muscly kind of characters. I uh, would probably have went with one of those this time around, but uh, I don't think that we they would really look all that good in uh, in caster gear, magic user gear. So we're not going to use that. Uh, the aura they've never really appealed to me. Aura is it aura or aura? I think it's aura. But yeah, don't think we're going to go with them. They look a bit too. Uh, bit too... can't find the right word for it, either way they don't appeal to me. The Hrothgar, again that would have been a first choice of uh, mine, if it weren't for the fact that again I don't think they would look all that great in uh, magical gear. I mean I'm probably, I don't know whether or not I'm going to start as a magic user straight off the bat or not, but uh, I'm thinking I'm going to go melee with this character. So. Uh, it might be an option, but again, I don't think they're going to look good in um, magic here. And I'm repeating myself a lot here, sorry. Um, then we've got the Viera, the bunny people. Mm, if they had a male option, I would have probably considered them, but seeing as it's female only, I don't think I will. So we said Elazan or Lalafell. Now I'm thinking Lalafell would probably look good in uh, Magic Gear being small, same with Elzen, but then would the Lalafell look quite as good in Melee Gear, I wonder. Hmm. I think we're going to go with Elzen. As I say, I'm not much of an elf person, but I feel like uh, going with something that's, uh, that's a bit different for a change. And we'll go with uh, Mail, yep. Yeah. Small clothes, that just shows you what they look like in their underwear, basically. And unique pose, what's this? Yep. Okay. So we'll... Uh, hang on, uh, different environments, what does it look like in different sets? Mm -hmm. Doesn't really look very at home there. Looks a bit better there. 
Although maybe that's just my bias thinking towards wood elf sort of things, even though he's clearly looking more like a high elf than a wood elf in my opinion. Yeah, definitely doesn't really look at home there, but never mind. And in the end, that uh, brown on his shoulders blends in with the uh, walls of the inn a bit, doesn't it? Oh, no. eh, doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so we'll confirm him. Uh, Wildwood or Dusk. Uh, we'll not read all the description, otherwise we'll be there all day. So we'll just have a look at what the stats are. Although I understand the stats don't make that different, that much difference in the grand scheme of things, because at the end game levels or even just uh, mid game levels, you start having hundreds, if not thousands, of stats in any one uh, statistic, like of strength or dexterity. So uh, one or two points here or there isn't going to make that much of a difference. Uh, strength 23, dex 23. So he's really dexterous and quite intelligent if we go with Wildwood and Duskwood are pretty evenly balanced although more focused towards casters by the looks of things. Don't know if you can change the skin tone but I don't think I'm liking the uh, skin tone of the Dusk Whites. So we're going to stick with Wildwood. Hmm. Height 202 centimeters tall. I have no idea how uh, tall that actually is. So I'm just quickly going to have a look at a uh, conversion up on my phone to see whether or not that's crazy tall or just kind of average. Right, so 202 centimeters is Six foot seven, six foot six, bloody hell, that's uh, absolutely humongous. Um, I suppose it stands about true, seeing as it's um, elves, and elves generally in most fantasy settings tend to be tall. So I guess we'll stick with the height, yeah, that's fine. Skin colour, do we want them to be a bit lighter, perhaps? I think we're going to have him quite pale. He's very feminine looking, although I suppose most elves uh, do tend to have a bit of a feminine, feminine appearance about them in uh, most gameplay. In uh, most gameplay, in most uh, fantasy settings. Right, hairstyles. Not too keen on that as standard, so we'll just start from the top. Uh, let's spin him around a bit so we can get a better view of what's going on. Not bad, although I think I'm probably remembering a character that's already in the game that has a very similar hairstyle to that. Uh, wow. Kind of reminds me of uh, Legolas, that style. Mm, not really feeling the spikes. doesn't seem to match with the kind of shorter styles that we've got up until this point. Um, let's see. What? Wait. Oh god, uh, Elvis, uh, do you? I think we'll avoid that one. <laughs> Reminds me of, uh, oh wait, maybe not like Link, it's, uh, I forgot what you call that style of haircut from the 80s. <laughs> uh, oh, a mullet, that's what you call that style, it's a mullet, isn't it? That's what they call it. Where was that one I saw earlier that I quite liked? I thought it looked like Legolas. Might be a bit cheesy, but uh, that's the main one that's appealing to me at the moment. Where's it gone? Where have you hidden yourself? I think it was that one that I was looking at, wasn't it? Okay. So we'll uh, confirm that hair colour. Uh, wait, is that. Uh, Highlights. We don't want to be bothering with highlights at the moment. We want their main hair colour. Um, I'm thinking a brownish colour, not too deep. Uh, 
I think I'm more reasonably happy with that. Now let's see what difference. Oh, oh definitely not, definitely not that high light color. Uh, mm, no, I don't think we'll have any highlights. Confirm that. Face. <coughs> now let's have a look. What have we got? Not really seeing a huge. Oh wait, yes, there's a little bit of difference between them. Oh wow, I don't want that ugly guy. <laughs> uh, I think we'll go with this first option. Confirm that. Jaw. Let's see what's going on with the jaw. Uh, let's see any difference here, what is that actually changing? Um, is it the cheekbones? Eh, not the cheekbones, the uh, a bit towards the back of the mouth. Nope, I'm not seeing any real difference here. Oh well, we'll just leave it at number one. Now the eye type. Um, again, I'm not really seeing any... Oh, that one was a little bit different. Oh wait, do you have to hover over them rather than just selecting them for to see the change? Mm. I think Type 2 is quite nice for us. And we'll go back to Joe briefly just to see if we can actually spot any difference this time. Ah, right, yes, you do seem to have to hover over them before it actually makes much of a difference. Mm. Let's see what you look like head on. Too fat. Type 1's not bad. Yeah, I think we're going to stick with Type 1. Now we've already done eye size, so skip straight on to iris size. Mm, yeah, we'll stick with large. Confirm that. Eye colour. Mm, I think I normally have greyish blue eyes, I've been taught in real life. So we'll try and stick with those, I guess. Eyebrows. What have we got here? Let's have a look. Not really too keen on number three. Or four, or five, maybe six. Not two, so that was one. Three. Uh, I think we're going to stick with one. <coughs> now let's see who knows what day is this going to be. Two's not bad, not really feeling number one so far. Not feeling number three. Number four's not bad. Mm. Yeah, I'm definitely leaning towards number four at the moment. Mm. Don't think I'm like number six, we'll stick with four. Uh, mouth, so what is this actually going to change? Obviously the mouth, but is it the lips? How tight it is, or...? Changes the overall shape. Let's see. Not like between three, maybe four. Mm. Yeah, I think four is maybe a little bit better in this case. Lip colour. Um, I don't think we will want to change that too much, so I'm getting the feeling that this is going to be uh, changed into like lipstick kind of colours. a little bit more natural to this guy's face. <coughs> yeah, shape. What do we have? Wow, those are really long. Was that uh, pretty standard length for these guys, or was that the exception? Type 2. Alright, uh... Do you want really long? Feeling 
the shorter ones, I think, for this. So that leaves us for three or four. Yeah, four looks a little bit too boring and normal and human style, so I think we're gonna go with type three to make it look a bit more original. Yes, eyes. Uh, short or long? It's currently on 25. Alright, so you can actually adjust the uh, size of them. Apart from the style. Uh, 25, maybe a little bit shorter. We'll go with 10, that looks pretty reasonable. Yeah, clasps. Mm. Oh, so that's just whether I want on one ear or both, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Why not? We'll have it on one. Doesn't really matter what side, I guess. Mm, do we have a golden, maybe brassy kind of colour? Yeah, that looks quite good, uh, I think. we leave that there. Now, do you want a goatee, which doesn't want to show? <laughs> nope, definitely not for... Well, actually, then again, it doesn't look that bad for an elf, I suppose, although uh, some people will no doubt uh, disagree with me in the comments. Sideburns. Maybe, although it's not a very traditional elfy thing to have, it uh, looks kind of okay, I suppose. Mm, we'll skip out on the scars. Uh, definitely not the Gordy on its own, at least. Mm, do we actually like him with those sideburns? Yes, I don't like them 100%, although it's better than just leaving them completely plain, I feel. So we'll leave it like that. And face paint, probably not going to want any of this uh, silliness. No. Don't want any of this. Yeah, definitely not. Just leave that how it was. Face paint color, we can skip that if we're not going to have any. Voices, let's see. Nope. Mm, probably not. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So three, four, and five are the ones I'm liking so far. None of these really seem to fit an elf, in my opinion. <coughs> and I should note here that uh, if you change the type, it affects all of these at the top. It's not an individual voice per um, emotion type. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. Now we'll uh, just confirm this. Save appearance data, and um, why not? Any old slot will do. First ever L. That's hmm. saved. Birthdays. I don't think it really has too much of an effect. We'll just choose something random. Hmm. Uh, let's have a quick look over these. This is uh, Goddess of War. Commands the element of ice. First one. Dedicated with bronze great sea shield. Her symbol is the three spears. Uh, I'm not going to read through all this again. It would take me all day to read through each and every one of these descriptions. I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to uh, look at these when you create your own character if you haven't already made one. <coughs> uh, 
Venus, goddess of love. Uh, commands element of... Oh, right, I see. So that's ice, that's ice. This is water, so that'll be water. That'll be wind. Uh, lightning. Uh, where are you? Where are you? What element are you? Fire, of course. Is it steep red? I should have guessed that one. And this will probably be Earth. I believe we haven't had Earth yet, have we? Yes, the element of Earth. <coughs> Blah, blah, blah. He's off into Merchant Hall of Balance. On the Golden Fan. Mage is carrying a staff of bronze. The symbol is the Streaking Meteor. Mm, that's meant to be the symbol that they're talking about. I'm not really seeing that as a meteor, but I guess you kind of could see the meteor at the bottom flames coming off the top. Oh well. Um. <coughs> Is it too uh, Carefully arrange your wheel on the bow view. Maybe as I'm thinking, I'm going to make the sky an archer. Although I might lean away from archers. Uh, that was the first class I ever played with uh, my main character. Long bladed harpoon, uh, weaver. Pick as a scholar holding an ashen staff. His symbol is the scroll. Uh, wait, 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 wait. She is most often depicted as a maid carrying a round skillet. Isn't a skillet a um, type of small frying pan? Uh, I'm not 100% on that one, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I don't think that was much difference, but yeah, I guess I'll stick with that. Ralga, a breaker of worlds, is the is the god of destruction and guardian deity of the now fallen nation of Alamigo. He commands the element of lightning and is associated with the eighth moon of the Eorzean calendar. Ralga is the father of both Biagot and Halon and serves as attendant to Nimia. He is most often depicted as a magus carrying a staff of bronze. His symbol is the streaking meteor. Confirm hmm. that. And now we might want to go as a tank class. We've got here, yeah, I should probably try and explain a little bit. Disciples of War, that's all uh, your melee classes mostly. And Disciples of Magic pretty much speaks for itself, that's all your magic users. Uh, Conjurer, I believe, becomes a white mage. Thaumaturge can become black mage at uh, level 30. They all actually uh, turn into different classes, or in this case jobs at level 30, where you get uh, different abilities and skills that uh, define your class a little bit better. Um, we also have Arcanist, I forget what the Arcanist will become, I believe they get to become a Scholar, which is a type of healer, or a Summoner, which uh, summons little uh, battle pets to help you in combat. Um, do I want the Conjurer? Because that means I'll get uh, more or less instant dungeon cues from being a healer role, and I haven't really played White Mage that much before in the past. Thaumaturge, uh, as I say, they become Black Mage, and Black Mages are meant to be one of the most complex base classes in the game, so we're going to try and steer clear of that, I think. Um, Arcanist. Mm, no, I don't think we'll bother with them. Gladiator is more of a tank class. Uh, again, you'll probably get pretty pretty fast clue, clues. You'll probably get pretty fast uh, dungeon cues being a tank class. But I'm not entirely confident in my tanking ability with this game, so I don't really want to be letting people down. Although they're normally very forgiving, anyways. So, uh, Puglist, I understand they're quite a complex class as well. Um, I believe they evolved their job to Monk. Once they reach level 30. 
Uh, Gladiator, I think, becomes a Paladin at level 30. Marauder, I can't remember what they become. Is it Warrior that they evolve into at level 30? <coughs> Again, another tank class. Lancer, um, they become Dragoons at level 30. Lots of uh, stabbing stuff with a long spear and jumping about all over the place. Tend to have a bit of a reputation of uh, getting killed quite frequently in this game, although I haven't seen it uh, myself first hand. Um, and Archer eventually becomes a Bard at level 30, which uh, is a class that likes to help buff the party with um, different abilities and songs. Kind of a little bit like uh, World of Warcraft's heroism, I suppose you would say that the uh, buff songs are the to use. So we said we don't really want to go with tanks. Puglis is too complicated. Lancer. I don't think so. I think we're going to skip out on Lancer this time. The Archer, we've already got one, so I said we were going to avoid that. Conjurer. Let's see what you look in these job clubs. Yeah, I guess you don't look too bad in that. Not really feeling the um, the headband thing that you're wearing, but I guess it's a uh, elf you feel. And wait, how? Why do I appear to have uh, eye makeup on there? I don't recall setting that. Let's uh, back out one moment. Um, let's see appearance. Face paint. Oh, apparently I did leave some on. Right, we'll uh, take that off. Confirm that. Um, yes, we want to save. And we'll overwrite the old one. Don't really need to leave a comment for it. Hmm. And we said we were going to choose our class as Conjurer. Job clothes. Reasonably happy in that. But we'll have a quick look at what it looks like in the other clothes as well, actually, while we're at it. Surprisingly, it looks uh, pretty okay in Falmatage Black Mage clothes. Looks pretty good in that as well. Gladiator. Not really think me since the Puglist uh, styling too much. Mm, maybe a little bit too bulky for an elf, but he still looks pretty good in it. Lancer, wow, he looks uh, pretty sexy in uh, Lancer gear. <laughs> and Archer, oh, he doesn't look too bad in that either. But yeah, we said we were going to stick with the Conjurer at White Mage. Okay, so it looks like uh, Zodiac is currently accepting new character creations, so we'll just uh, say yes to that. Now we'll come up with a name for ourselves, so we'll go with uh, Elric Fandral and confirm that. Ha! Mm. Mm. Now it's asking me to begin a new game with this character. The servers have been very congested lately, so it's most likely going to put me into a server queue as soon as I click OK. So what we'll do is we'll uh, continue this in the next episode. See you guys next time!